more than halfway to our destination and uh, other than dodging rocks, coral heads and shoals, we now have an entire parking lot of cruise ships, 14 of them to be exact. Four of these guys are north of um, a thousand feet long so they don't measure them in feet like the big cargo ships, they, they measure them in nautical miles. So. Uh, Four of these are over 0.16 nautical miles long. Matter of fact, three of them are 0.17 nautical miles long. fish on the hook. We need to manage the rest of the uh, cruise ship fleet. This is the uh, from the Holland America line. Those are two uh, celebrity cruise ships and then I don't know there's even another one way out there and it just keeps going. They're just parked everywhere out here. Any bonitas? Well it could be mahi if it is but bring her in. Yeah, this is the best part. This is the best part. <laughs> now the best part's getting it on deck. gorgeous in here. Wow, you're just uh, under the cloud. Huh? You're just under the cloud. So if it rains, Bruce you'll be...
do you think, guys? All right, so we've obviously finally made it to an absolutely gorgeous beach in the Bahamas. This is Berry Island. And I gotta say, it's quite lovely. This is, I think, the softest sand I've ever walked on in my life. Really that soft, white, powdery sand. But when it's wet, it's just so soft. As you can see, it's a great spot for some of the boats now we have south uh southeasterly winds and so this is a great place to tuck in on this cove but look at this water so beautiful and as you can see oliver and lucas took them all of about two seconds to go leaping in the water A nice, beautiful manatee who's cleaning our our hull at the moment. He's he's cleaning with his tail. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Look at that. What a Hi, little gentle. manatee. What are you doing there you go. now? Nibble, okay. nibble on the barnacles. Yeah. yeah. Like That's our sonic our sauna hull guy. <laughs> so, what's the project today? Oh, it's a fresh list for today, baby. As you can see, we are in water conserving mode. Yes, I have not shaven in about five days. Uh, so today's list, other than shining up stainless steel anywhere we can. Um, so when we anchor, we have the chain marked for certain depths. This is our little cheat sheet here. So what we did was uh, we, we've painted the chain and every so often we need to touch it up. So green is at 50 feet of chain, yellow at 75, red at 100. The mixed colors is 125 and then black and yellow is at 150 feet of chain. So uh, people have, excuse me, my eyes are watering, it's a little windy. People have different ways of marking chain, whether it's zip ties or they are these cool little rubber things that sit inside the links of chain. Uh, we, haven't been able to find those and um, so anyway we just paint the chain um, this allows us to get a pretty accurate uh, ratio of chain put out whether we're running a five to one scope or seven to one scope um, so if you're 10 feet of water you have to let out at least 50 feet of chain uh, we usually err more on the side of seven to one uh, but by having the paint colors on there Maki knows exactly how much chain we've let out instead of this rough guessing game when we first went started sailing on Ali Luki we didn't have anything marked in the chain and we would say well so how much did we let out it's like eh, I don't know it feels like 50 feet but honestly how do you know you know you get, the chain links are just zipping by and there's no real way to measure that unless you have a chain counter uh, they're pretty good some are better than others we've been told none of them are, are really that accurate um, but at least it would get you in the ballpark. So this is not an exact science, you know, but today's project is to touch up the paint, so. anchor rollers take quite a beating you know they're getting pounded on by this chain as it's rolling through here and in an effort to just care for everything we possibly can on the boat uh, and it possibly maybe extend the life of these uh, these anchor rollers because uh, you can see how they these aren't really chewed up at all I mean, it's so nice and smooth but you know if you don't these things will start to chip and crack and kind of dry rot so we go from looking like that to just hitting it with a little WD-40 
and it pretty much soaks it up. It uh, it will get on there. Let's see if we can. And we do this to the chain uh, as well. You know, when we bring the anchor chain up, we um, we do a a saltwater rinse. So here at the uh, at the here at the anchor locker, we have both uh, a salt water and fresh wash down. So we'll use salt water as it's coming up. One of the boys will be here and Maki's bringing the anchor up and then the boys are washing it down with salt, mainly to get any residual sand and mud and things off the chain and anchor. And then we'll take salt, a fresh water and go in the anchor locker where all the chain is piled up and then just rinse the entire pile down with uh, fresh water and then every like once a month, I go in there with some WD-40, some kind of a spray lubricant, and just spray the whole pile. Um, just again, just to try to just take care of the anchoring equipment. Uh, we just did the anchor roller, so you can see how they pretty much look brand new. Um, and really, you know, honestly, why not? You know, the, the steel in here. So we'll clean all of this stainless steel stuff up here, get this rust off, and then we'll spray it. Uh, with WD-40 just to give it a little bit of a seal, just a little, a, a thin layer of protection. You clean up all the rust off of here, uh, even down in here as much as you can get to. And then I'm going to spray this entire area with WD-40 to again coat it with an oil. It just gives it a little protection from the, um, the ocean spray, salt. Uh, obviously, you know, every time we anchor, we rinse this entire area off and uh, it's, just, it's just a little love and care. So if I have to do this once every seven months, maybe if you could push it once a year, why not? And there's uh, a conch in here. They eat conch here in the Bahamas. Like, just enormous numbers. Conch salads and uh, I think they make like a conch ceviche and stuff. And it's in here. Uh, there's an islander here that he's gonna show us how they how they shuck this. I don't even know if you can see it. It's inside there. It's down. It's really, oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. You can see like a little golden down inside there. That's, that's the actual conch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's phenomenal that there are shells that look like this. I mean, how yeah. does this, how does it get like this? It's yeah. just amazing, honestly. And the colors are just stunning. Beautiful. Okay. And you take knife because she's thick. And dark over there. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I got some more. <laughs> Hi. What are you now? <laughs> you need one. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Back, no. <laughs> yeah, what are you now? <laughs> That's so more. And now you're, you're uh, just basically just doing it. And, he's and like, now oh, you can oh, Wow. Oh my God. That's huge. Whoa. <laughs> that whole thing is in there? Yeah, wow. What yeah. do you eat and what do you don't eat? Easy. Looks like he's in a bag. And you have your sharp knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's prepared. Oh, that is a weird Look looking thing. It's such a weird thing. I'm to get this thing out. Yes. It's like a giant muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my gosh. And that's yeah, delicacy. <laughs> is it okay to keep the shell? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a good shell, you know. 
That's his. Oh, there's a fish in there. Yeah, little fish. Wow. Yeah. He ate a fish at the at the night. Look, the fish, the whole thing. Oh, oh, fish. Yeah, he swallowed them. Such a. We get this out. Big Mike was showing us the the, the boy part. Yeah. <laughs> and he's daring us to eat it. Oh, oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> My God, I'm yeah. not eating that. Yeah, somebody is. I always eat it. Oh, wow. I already show that. Yeah. And th this is skin. Why right? this skin? I try to get this skin out. Yeah. The skin, out the skin. Yeah. Uh huh. What's gonna be left from him? Wow. Inside. The boy, the inside. You scared? Okay. You... Let's see. Oh, okay. The next one. We can wash it off. Oh, it's okay. How is it? Good. <laughs> Coconut retriever. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, don't do that. <laughs> it has juice. Does it really? Okay, Let's see. It's mine. It's mine. Okay. Coconut thief. <laughs> Coconut wrestling. <laughs> <laughs>